I am JW Jones and this is my 10th studio album, it's called Sonic Departures. This album features the largest band I've ever recorded with, a 17 piece big band with 13 horn players. Recording with a big band like this has been a bucket list career goal for decades. Fresh off the heels of winning Best Guitarist at the International Blues Challenge in Memphis with Hirojo Trio, I was excited for a huge year ahead and within weeks, COVID-19 hit. I knew I had to do something to stay productive and positive, so I turned isolation into inspiration and started planning this project. Where does the time go? So many stories I could tell. My last two studio albums were recorded in Nashville with Tom Hambridge and Colin Linden, so this was a totally different approach this time. It felt great to get back involved in the production side of things. We've got the touring band of Will Lorrain on drums and harmony vocals, Jacob Clark playing upright and electric bass and harmony vocals, and I brought my friend Jesse Whiteley back on board to play keys and write some of the horn charts. My wife Britt sang harmony vocals on some of the Jump Blues numbers, and it gives them a really sweet classic vibe. I'd walk a mile just to see a smile. Thinking about you nearly drives me wild. My good friend Kaz Kazanoff of the Texas Horns penned big band horn arrangements for some of my original songs between his dates with Jimmy Vaughn. She makes the same mistakes over and over, over and over again. This album sounds bigger and wider than ever before, and it's not just because of the number of musicians, it's because of the production values that Eric Eggleston brought to the table. Production-wise, we did a few things that might have been a little unorthodox for uh, a blues or big band recording, which usually may be a little more traditional sounding. Since we got to record the horn section and the rhythm section together, there's a really tight, cohesive sound, but it's got a lot of production value that you would otherwise miss if it were purely live off the floor. Now that we're recording blues in the 2020s, I wanted to do something different and modern, so we sampled my then 15-month-old daughter's voice and used it as part of the intro for the song Snatching It Back. We recorded her and then we manipulated the sounds for it to sound a little more like a pad keyboard. Why would you want to use a keyboard when you can have a baby? When COVID hit, I had to buy some gear to be able to record my own vocals and then I worked remotely with Eric. A lot of the mixing and post-production was done during COVID. So we would be on Skype. Uh, JW could hear my studio speakers through a browser on his end. We didn't let high production values take priority over keeping it real though. Every guitar solo on this album, with the exception of one, was recorded in one take, and it was the first and only take with the whole band, including the horn section, in the same room, which was recorded pre-COVID. Recording with such a huge band was, was really cool. I mean, hitting those shots with a 13-piece horn section was pretty epic. This is Sonic Departures, and we hope you enjoy the ride. When it all 